And my iPod wasn't working, so God, you know this day and age. Your iPod doesn't work, you gotta flip the fuck out. No. Something vague that we're not seeing. Something more like a feeling. I'm such a rebel skipping class and going home early. To the beach. Oh, I'm such a fucking rebel. Rebel, guys. Just being class. Rebel. Oh, man. So this is awkward. I want to get out of my car and see the water because it's really flooded, but there's a man sitting right there and I almost hit him before. <sighs> awkward. Aha! There we go. Hey guys. Do you guys ever notice that when I- Well, you won't notice because I edited it out, but when I put my glasses on, I go... I make a really weird face. I know you care. Um, what's up? I'm gonna kill everyone, guys. Guys, everyone. Massacre, like, five minutes. Just gonna massacre everyone. I'm gonna gesture it out, too. So when I aim at them with my guns... I'll be on target. So, uh, I went to school today. Uh, Invoke. I, uh, studied how to read We Are All Like We're All Different, which is a book. I have to read a job shadowing. It's whatever. So this other two, um, is reading this book that I love now. I'm pretty sure I want to buy it if I can find it in a store. It's called The Color of His Own, and it's about this chameleon, and it's really sad. And he's, like, basically walking around, he's like, dude, all the other animals have, like, a consistent color. How come everywhere I go, I have to be something I'm not? Like, it's so deep. And then he finds this other chameleon, and they're like, hey, you just come with me, and wherever we'll go, we go, that's the color we are. And it's deep. And I'm pretty sure it can be taken as they're gay. That's what we all, that's the conclusion all of us twos have come to, that the chameleons are gay. And I, I'm totally for that, and I want the book. So maybe I'll Google that once I'm done here. Before we go, I was just leaving school and I saw, you know, our BFF that's not Allie. Um, we saw her with her boyfriend and our friend who was with them said, Hey, Maria! And then uh, our BFF was, didn't even acknowledge us. And she saw us sitting in class, she didn't acknowledge us. And I just called her. And like, I think it did that thing where you accidentally answer the phone like her, I guess she was leaning on her phone or something. And I could hear her talking to her boyfriend. Like, I get, he's, like, with her right now. It was really awkward, and I just kept making noise. And then I hung up, and then I called back twice, and then she kept clicking the fuck you button. So, ooh, you're dying. All right. Ugly, dirty shirt. Damn it, why are you dying? What happens if you die? Does my video not get saved? Fuck. Oh, I better turn you off. I'd scream about Owl City being on, but I'm really too upset right now. But, um, yeah, I'm going to school. Oh, get off the radio, Alex City. Oh, oh Alex City. Oh. oh, can you guys see me? Oh, you were really loud, Blink 182. All right. Hey guys, I changed the location up. Am I blowing your mind? I'm blowing my mind. So, let's talk about today. Okay. So basically, so this morning, um, I was being really super depressive, as I was yesterday, and so I went to school, and my iPod wasn't working, so god, you know this day and age, your iPod doesn't work, you gotta flip the fuck out, no, but I had to ride the bus and whatnot for like 50 minutes, so anyway, that kind of threw me. So I had Adam's song by Blink-182 stuck in my head, which uh, was not helping. Um, and then I, the only thing I had with me was my Perks Me Wallflower book. So I was going through it and I was like, you know what I really love? 
that poem, you know, that Charlie talks about? And it's about the kid killing himself. By the end, he's like, and he gave himself a slash in each damn wrist and hung it on the bathroom door because he didn't think he could make it to the kitchen. I'll read it to you guys later. But seriously, so fucked with my head. So I got to nursery school and I'm circle teacher. Oh, this battery's dying. Okay. So I'm circle teacher and I get there and I can't do it. And I'm so I'm like really professional when it comes to stuff. Well, I, I'm just am like, I know I am. Cause all the girls, they were like, oh, I can't do nursery school today. Well, I, I've sucked it up. I've never missed one nursery school day. Like I've never been like, oh, I don't feel good. Or I can't go in the nursery school. Never done it ever. Job challenge. You've never skipped it. So I get there and I just, I'm trying not to cry. And you know, like when you're about to cry and you're just like trying to like go like this so you don't cry and your eyes are bright red and watery and everyone knows and everyone's going are you all right are you all right and i'm like yeah i'm fine and then i'm crying and i'm just walking around crying and i don't realize that i'm crying because i'm just so focused on not crying that i'm actually making sure that i'm not crying i'm like yeah i'm not crying they're like are you all right why are you crying i'm like i'm not crying so then i went into the bathroom because i just i couldn't do it like, i was flipping out because i'm thinking about all this terrible stuff in the end of that poem I'm thinking about how I can be circle teacher, but honestly, that's not that big of a deal. But I was just thinking out how am I supposed to be circle teacher when I'm about to cry right now and I'm going to talk to three year olds. And it was terrible. So I like went in the nursery school bathroom and I'm just standing there, like, you know, going like this. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm trying to write a name tag and I'm shaking and all this stuff and it's terrible. And this uh, girl in my class who, you know, everyone's a real bitch too. And they said so much stuff about her and all this shit. And I've like had no issue with her. And she comes in there and she's like, Dude, are you alright? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And I'm writing out my name tag. And she's like, your name's not missing. And I looked at it and I wrote my name as Mrs. Because, you know, my teacher. And I'm like, I I don't know what's going on right now. And I just started crying. And she's like, dude. And she's like, no, like, is there something that matter? I'm like, I just have really bad depression. And she's like, oh, dude, I totally feel you. And I was standing there, I'm crying. She's like, alright, well, you know what? You don't have to do circle and stuff. I'm like, no, I have to do circle. So then it turned out Mrs. found out and whatnot, so I didn't have to do circle and they were really chill about it. I just sat on the computer looking at cartoons of pets to print out. And it was really good, but I was just, you know, really terrible. Like, I've never cried in school in all, how long I've been in school? From preschool to the senior year. I broke this year, I guess. And, but you know, I sucked it up and I read a story, which I shouldn't have had, like, I didn't have to do. And I read a story to the kids, we all did. And the girl that came in the bathroom with me during my story, we're like, you know, all kids look alike. The book is we're all like, we're all different. So I was reading it. We're like, oh, everyone's different and alike. And I'm like, some people look like their moms and some people look like their dads. And she goes, I look like the milkman. <laughs> and I just, you know, I just really appreciated shit like that. She's like, you know what? You look like you need, you could use a smile. And I know this probably doesn't mean much to the vlog and whatnot, but it was... I really did appreciate it. And I was like, yeah, because you know what sometimes happens when daddy's not home? And the kids, like, <laughs> that's what I love about kids. Just closer. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go out to Jersey Shore over there. Yeah, I felt the need to show you guys my TV. I'm going to try to feel better. Um, I need to get batteries for this because it's severely dying. And yeah, I'm just going to try to, you know, sleep it off. But I've also been trying to sleep it off for four years now. But hey. Sorry, my dead batteries interrupted me. I don't remember what I was saying now. Yeah. This is awesome footage. I have a rash on my hand. I probably could have went down. Yeah, I could have. You can't see anything. I can't see you.